to the future of easy to use digital cameras now and something beyond just automatic. Scott McGrew shows us the focus free camera. Kids these days, they probably don't remember a time when you had to get film developed. Or not that long ago, you had to wind the film. Or heck, you had film at all. Add to the long list of changes in picture-taking technology, the focus. Sure, cameras have had automatic focus for a long time, but Stanford researcher Ren Ung says soon you won't even need that. He's developed cameras that focus on everything. The trick is that we put this micro lens array in front of the sensor. A little background. Cameras have what photographers call a depth of field, the zone where the photograph is in focus. Till now, you could take this picture or this one. Ung's camera technology takes both simultaneously. Take a picture and later, days, weeks, even years later, change the focus of the picture from the flower in the foreground to the tower, from the bride to the background. Focus on the finger or the face. You can change the focus in a picture after the photograph's been taken because the camera's special lens captured all of the possibilities ahead of time. There's all these rays of light flowing into the camera, like you know, all these rays. And in a conventional photograph, you get a very short summary of, that, of those set of rays. In essence, you add up lots of those rays in particular ways, and you get just those sums of different sets of rays. And we try to capture the whole set of rays by itself, and that is the information that you need in order to refocus. Almost like having dozens of cameras laid out in a grid working simultaneously, each capturing a slightly different picture. Its effect is breathtaking. A photograph is no longer static. You see in it what you want to see. Since we first told you about this story, Ren has uh, graduated from Stanford and started his own technology company, Refocus Imaging. So this is something you are going to see in a consumer product sometime in the future.